In this overview, we are going to review the event data table. The event data table shows underlying data related to an event you have selected to display on your map within an event layer. We can see in this example, I already have a map open with an event layer that is displaying lab confirmed cases of COVID-19 desegregated by sex. I can access the event data table by selecting the more actions button for any event layer that I want to review. From here, I can select the data table option in order to display the table within the Maps app. For those of you familiar with the data table associated with thematic layers, we can see that opening the event data table follows a very similar process. The data that is shown within this table is configurable to a certain degree, as it depends on the data items you have selected to display on the map, combined with the data elements that are available to appear in reports as configured within the maintenance app. We can see a quick screenshot of where this is configured for an event program or program stage as a quick reminder for those who are familiar with this process. The table displays information for all of the events that are shown on the event layer you are working with. This can end up being a large number of events, as is the case in this example. As it is displayed right now, the table may not be serving a large amount of utility, as this is difficult to interpret given the large number of results that are contained within the table. To support better use of the event data table, there are a number of ways you can interact with it, however. One of the most powerful features of this data table is the ability to use it to filter out events in both the table as well as the map itself. You can filter out any type of data value. This means any free text, numbers, or option set values that are stored for an event can be used as a filter. As an example, I can filter out all lab specimens that used an oropharyngeal swab. Specimen type uses an option set to select and store the appropriate value for this data element. In order to add a filter, select the search box within the column that you want to add a filter for, and then enter the criteria that matches the item that you want to filter. In this case, I want to match the text for the option or a pharyngeal swab. Once we start typing, we will see that both the table and the map start to update. If we review the table, we can see that all of the cases I am now looking at used a specimen type of oropharyngeal swab. The map also reflects this now, as the cases shown on this map only used the specimen type I have filtered out. We can have multiple filters on the data table if we need to. For example, I can add in an additional filter for sex so that I am only showing female cases. Now we only see lab positive cases that used an oropharyngeal swab and were female in both the data table as well as the map itself. The event data table allows you to review all of the underlying data that is being displayed in an event layer. It becomes particularly useful when you start filtering out events in both the table and the map. We look forward to hearing your comments on this feature. For any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice.